my washing machine is just dripping. And this is a GE. And for some reason, it just does that. So anyway, I went on Google and I diagnosed the problem with the washing machine. And uh, I got this part number right here. And I went on uh, Amazon and I found this knockoff part, which is basically the exact same thing that was in the washing machine when I took it out. And uh, this is how much it cost me, $29.95. Now, if I called a service man, they would have probably charged me a couple hundred dollars. But for 30 bucks, I'm going to put this bad boy in there and save myself the huge fee of having a guy come out and fix this thing. All right. Okay, so what we have to do, number one, is uh, we have to turn off the water here. Then we have to unplug it here. Unplug it. You don't want to get electrocuted. Bam. I'm going to pull it over here. So I've got the cord here. And uh, good, that's loose. I'm going to stick that up to the top there. Put that up there. And uh, yeah, now we're ready to pull this thing out and turn the water off and fix it. This is the valve that I have to put in there. And so it's going to go in like this. If those two things right there are that is that right there. So that's going to go in there. Once I pull this face off of this, I got to pull this whole thing out and then we're going to do that. So you might want to get a bucket over here. I'm going to grab one because we're probably going to have a little bit of water flow coming out of those hoses. So I'm going to get this little one here. That should be enough. We're going to need that. We'll put that right here for right now, right next to my valve. And then we're going to get uh, the tools that we need next. All right, so you're going to probably have to pull the thing out so you can get access to the back of it because you've got to take out uh, three bolts and you got to unscrew the water lines. So I'm pulling it out, as you can see here. Okay, so next, I'm going to turn this water off. So I'm going to close these valves, both of them, right there. Close. I think I got them closed. Hopefully I didn't just open them all the way. And then I'm going to pull this a little bit. I don't really think I need to go too much farther. Maybe just a little bit farther. And uh, then we'll take those off. So I'm just going to bring it out a little bit more so I can get behind it. I think I'm almost there. Yep, now that should be good. All right, so now I can get back to this area here. Okay, so I'm going to put my bucket down here, and now what I've got to do is unscrew these. And they're on there pretty tight. See, it's got some water dripping, a little bit more. Seems like a lot of water. That seems like a lot of water. Let's try it again. See how much comes out. Well, let's get oh, that's a lot. All right, so that's that's way more. Okay, so I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna turn the water off to the house right here. Now that turns off all the water to the house. So this is closing a valve. And this is opening a valve. So I don't know. We'll find out. Turn this on here. Turn this on. So this will run the water out. As you can see, I turned off the water of the house. So now I'll let that run for a little bit. And then I'm going to take these off over here. Right that way. I shouldn't have a problem with it, but these should be closed, but we'll find out. All right, as you can see, water's off to the house. So now we should be able to do this without a problem. So let's go back and uh, shut the door. So we got our bucket down there. Let's see. I mean, you know, we'll find out, right? All right, now I gotta move the bucket over. So I can put those in there. Yeah. All right, good. So that's there. 
Over here, I dropped my camera, other camera. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get the other one off. I'm hoping that I can just turn it, but I might have to get a pair of pliers. Everyone, everyone should have a pair of channel locks. These channel locks are the preferred tool of a plumber. As you can see, it loosens it up really good. I'm gonna have to clean up all this water. Here it goes, it's gonna drip. All right, there we go. All right, so there's our, this is what we're gonna change. As you can see, it's exactly the same as this one over here. So now, we've got to undo these bolts. I need to set her down there. At first, you don't succeed. All right, try again. And that baby goes right on there, perfect. All right, so we're good. All right, now we gotta change this bit right here. So to do that, gotta loosen this, pop that baby out, and stick this one in. Tighten her down. There we go. All right, now this is ready to go. Now we can take that off of there. Procure it. All right, so we gotta get that off of there. So we're gonna reverse it. I'm putting on reverse. And we don't wanna lose these, so we wanna hang on to them. So I'm gonna put them right, right here. One there. One there. All right, so I'm gonna move this. Now this face plate's supposed to slide off pretty easy. So we gotta see where we're at here. This definitely comes off here somehow. Oh, I got one more, one more bolt. That's why it's not coming off. Oh my guys. Here we are. All right, done. Get me out of there. Get me over there. Now we're ready to go. Now this just come, should just come right off. There we go, you have to slide it. So if you look down on these, if you look here, it's got this little groove. So it's gotta push that way. And that's how you do it. All right, so let's take a look in here. We might, we don't wanna screw this up. All right, so we got red on left and we got blue on right. And we've got one, two, screws that we have to undo and then we have to unhook this clamp here and pull that hose off of there and we just pull that baby out and we put that new one in it's pretty simple not too bad all right so there we are red on left blue on right just got to remember that right so first we're going to pull these off it takes two hands we don't want to screw them up i'm going to kind of pull this one to the to the left so that i remember I'm gonna pull this one to the right, just like that. We're just gonna leave them right there like that. Bam, done. Now we've gotta unhook that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, we're gonna take our bit out of here. We're gonna put our Phillips head in. We put the Phillips head in, right here. We're gonna tighten it down. Now we gotta pull these out. So there's one here. Make sure you put it in reverse. <laughs> All right, so that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and get those screws out. There's one. Okay, it's a little rusty. Then let's get the other one out. Two, got them both, right? So we're gonna put them over here. You don't wanna lose those. Now we've gotta get this hose off of here, right? See that hose? So let's get in tight here. So as you can see, there's a little clamp on it. Now this is pretty loose now. The only thing I gotta do is get that hose off of there. And then I can pull this complete unit out of there. And then we can put our new one in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze this. And I'm gonna pull it up. I might have to just pull this whole thing out first. Let's see what we got going on here. Can you tie it anywhere else? So yeah, so it's gotta come up like this. All right, there we go. So that's it. So now I just gotta get that thing off of there. So I'm gonna have to use both hands. This is the tough part, getting this hose off here without fucking it up. You can see there's a big nipple in here. So I'm gonna push this over to the other side of that and then I should be able to get it off. So let's see if you can see it. All right, here like that. I don't wanna screw this up, so I, I don't wanna pull it any more than that. So what I gotta do is I've gotta get this, this thing here. 
I'm gonna pull this over this way. So it's on the other side of that lip. So now this should just pull out. Or it might not. Hmm. This thing does not want to come out of there, does it? I'm gonna have to use some elbow grease. All right, so we got it out. So now if you look, it's the exact same thing as this one here, right? So now we're just gonna put this one in just like we took this one out. Just like we took this one out. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this. And then we're gonna put that thing on. So we're gonna do that first, okay? So we gotta get this in first, right? So we're gonna shove this, see that little lip? Gotta get that thing way in there, all the way in there, all the way in. Now that I got it in, you can see the lip right there. Now I've got to squeeze this and then pull it on this side of that lip. I got to compress that with the pliers and get it on this side. That's very important. So that's what we're going to do next. And then I'm going to move it over on the other side of that lip right there. Bam. All right, you see how I did, I did that? So now this is here and this thing is tight on there and we're all the way in. So next, we got to slide it through here like that, okay? Stick them in like that. One, put this one in over here. I don't know if you can see me. See that little, little hole right there? Yeah, so there's one screw there. See it? There's the other screw there. And all we got to do is tap them down and get them in there nice and tight. So now we're gonna switch our, our screw gun so that it's going righty tighty. We're gonna get right in there. Try to find the hole. Get it tightened down. Same thing on this side. And now we gotta double check and make sure that we got it in there. And it feels pretty tight. So if you remembered, the red goes on this side, right? And you'll see here, look, you see the contacts right there? You see the contacts right there? Those have to slide onto those two contacts. We took them off, so we just push it on. That one's on. And then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna push our blue side on. Okay, now we're all set. This is in there, looking good there. Everything looks looks pretty sharp. Everything looks good over here. We wanna make sure we didn't screw any of that up. Hopefully we didn't. <laughs> and now we're gonna reassemble everything. I'm gonna make sure all these are in. And we're gonna slide, as you look, we're gonna slide these in here and then push it over and then just tighten it down. And that's gonna put our top on. If you notice, they've got instructions here, which we didn't use. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna find out how it works here in a second. I'm gonna do that. So we're gonna pick it up. Slide it over. So these, we want to get all these, uh, all of these electrical things, we got to get them in there so that you're not on top of them when you go to close this. You follow me? So you don't want any of those lines getting pinched. Okay, so that looks pretty good right now. So let me go ahead and put this up here. And hopefully, we'll be able to see how I do this. So now we're going to bring this up. I'm gonna slide it in, and at the same time, what I'm doing is I'm making sure that these electrical pieces are not screwed up. And so I've got it, so if you look, I've got it all the way over to this side. Because what I have to do is I gotta kinda of come down and then I gotta kinda of slide it. So, so I'm gonna get in here like this, and I'm gonna kinda of slide it this way. You can see I just gotta get over this little hump here on this side, and then I'll be good. So let's see if we can do that. See that right there? Gotta get over that. So if I come like this, if I come like this, I can just barely get over it. And then bam, there we go. Now we should be good. Now all I gotta do is I gotta put my screws back in there. Yeah. All right, so I'm not gonna bore you with me putting these screws back in. I'm gonna do it in fast motion. You just gotta put all three of them in and tighten it down. All right, so I'm gonna get a little bit of this plumber's tape. I'm gonna wrap it on there. And next, I reattached my cold and hot water lines uh, to the back. And I used the channel locks to make sure it was tight, but not too tight. 
All right, looks good. Now I've got to clean that up a little bit under there. Get the pail out of here because it's all wet. Of course, we may need that pail again, so I'm gonna just dump it over here for right now and then bring it back just in case everything goes south on me. All right, now I gotta go out and turn the water on. So we're gonna do that. And I'll know it comes down when I see that. It's raining, I like the sun we got out here. All right, so we'll put the water back on. Damn, that's fun. And as you can see, it's coming. Okay, that's good. So make sure we ain't got any leaks. So I think that we're looking good here. No leaks, valves are open. Now we just gotta try running it and see if it works. You plug it in, bam, done. Plugged in, ready to go. Get this out of here. Now I just gotta walk it back in there. Let me make sure I got my valves open. Both of those are open. We've got no water flowing here, nothing coming out of it. Everything seems to be good. I've got it plugged in. So, we don't really have any uh, clothes to wash, but we could put it on small. And uh, well, we'll, just, we'll just leave it at warm. And, um, and let's go. Quick rinse. How about light? We'll do a light. So we'll put it on light, put this on warm water because we want both sides. We'll put it on a small load. We'll just throw something in there. So let's go ahead and let's get these. And we'll put these in there, make sure it works good. So we just throw that in there and uh, I'll shut it. This is just for purposes of demonstration. Let's go ahead and start it. So it's just gonna get the air out of there. Okay. Is this working? All right, so far so good. I don't see any ladies back here. Got a lot of air in it because we turned the water off. But that'll take a little bit and we'll just pump it way right through. And it's warm, so that's good. We got warm and uh, that looks good. Looking back here, no leaks. Everything looks good. I might have to do a little cleanup back here because it is kind of kind of dirty. Maybe I'll vacuum that all out. All right, so I'm just going to let that soak through. All right, so far so good. I think we're, I think we're okay. And if this works, then we'll put it right back into our space here. We'll let it run through this cycle, make sure there's no problems, no leaks, no errors, no runs, no hits. So far it looks good. And then once that's done, we'll push her back in the inner hole. All right, I think we can slide it back. And as you can see, there's no leakage in the washing machine. All right, so we did a good job on that. All right, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff that I've never done before, but I'm going to do it anyway, and you can too save money.